Hello, anybody out there? <coughs> Man, I feel like I'm staring at the ceiling here. Hi, Jason. How are you tonight? Awesome, glad to hear it. Dad stopped in the shop today. He's starting to feel a little bit better. He's uh he's gonna take Saturday and Sunday off this week. He normally don't do that. He needs re relax and rest up. Yeah, we got four people watching. Actually, I'm gonna try to move this camera. I'm try, tired of trying to look up. Hi, right, Gary. Yeah, it's coming a long ways. It's uh, a ton of work. I've been working at least 12 hour days on it, trying to get it going seven days a week. Wearing me down. I'm not going to set an alarm tomorrow. I'm going to get up when I get up and go in. It'll still probably be eight o'clock, nine o'clock. <coughs> Uh, I've got today's members video uploading now. <clears throat> it shows it at 91%. Uh, Hi, right, Travis, how you doing tonight? Back feeling better? The material for the office won't be in till uh, Wednesday, probably about 2 p.m. So I'm going to be doing everything I can elsewhere in the building. Well, we got five of watching. Yep. What don't get done today will be there tomorrow and delay one more day. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to working on cars again. I don't mind a little bit of construction work and remodeling and all that, but man, I'm not used to this day in, day out. I thought I was going to leave early today, but it didn't happen. I wish they had put that little herd in another place because it covers up the chat.
I've got three devices here. I'm trying to keep an eye on all three of them. I don't understand why they wouldn't put that down below. I mean, nobody ever sends a super. They could put it right there. Or at least make that a little bit wider and put it in line with them. What do you mean a memorial of Jesus? I've got seven 14 foot sheets left of that siding material so i'm gonna work on doing the outside of the office tomorrow celebrating it early i thought memorial day was next week I know the worldly calendar and the biblical calendar don't even come close to matching, but mm. hmm. I was thinking it was next week. Interesting. Hi, right, Kennedy. Ah, the battle's still there. Thank you. Didn't really do a whole lot in there today. Did hold two loads of scrap off and hold a load of firewood off. Then I come back, and I did a little bit here and there and there, but not a whole lot. Tomorrow I'm going to get busy, though. After doing all that running and then getting soaked in the rain. I believe so, yes. All right, Mike. Las Cruces, huh? What's the weather like down there? <laughs> oh yeah, man, after yesterday, it's amazing actually having a visual of the whole building that building hasn't been cleaned out like this in well over 30 years. 
81 degrees. Wow. It'd be nice in the wintertime, but summertime, I bet it's rough. Well, we got eight people watching. Come join the chat, everybody. Wow, five inches of snow to 81 degrees. Wow. I'm glad I'm not, not dealing with snow right now. Had some hail today and a lot of rain. Of course, I was out operating a dump trailer and got soaked. Thirty four in snow. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> Just glad I had my hat on. Ugh. Hey, David. Twenty eight and snowing, and you're only four hours from me. You can still keep it, bud. I don't want it. Yeah, Rick showed me pictures. He had a dog, I think it was a schnauzer. Sent pictures, he shoveled his sidewalk, and that dog looked like a cricket out there in between those sidewalls of his sidewalk. Hey, it was raining pretty hard here earlier, and no leaks. Roof is fixed. You're in Iowa. Well, they're, they're saying we're going to get hammered with a snowstorm here next week. I'm hoping not. Yeah, that, that's a blessing. No leaks. Showroom, I got a little bit of trim work to do. I have siding coming to do the office. Uh... And probably a little bit left to do out in the, on the outside wall of the office. And then I can call for the inspection. I haven't used it. I've, I've heard a lot of people using it, though. Right, I'm ready for some warmer weather. Yeah, if this stayed between 70 and 75 year round, I'd be I'd be happy. That'd be perfect weather for me. So what's everybody's plans for the weekend? Yeah, winter drags on and on and on. I hate winter. Everything's dead, nothing growing.
Well, come on over. <laughs> Tyler wants to talk about. Okay. Is she constipated? Huh? Is she constipated? Why? Because she's wanted Taco Bell the past two nights. That's the cheapest. <laughs> Not when you're talking DoorDash. <laughs> I'd like to be doing that this weekend. But I'm also happy making the building look better, too. Drive the recliner for a while. I, I got to be honest, guys. I haven't even sat in my recliner. I'm going to say three weeks. Oh, wait a minute. I did sit in it one night, and I fell asleep. Half hour later, I woke up, went up to bed, and I didn't sleep the rest of the night. I should have just stayed in, the, stayed in the recliner. But that was the only time I've been in my recliner in at least two to three weeks. Generally anymore, by the time I get home, eat, drink my pot of coffee, either I have the premiere or live or something of that nature. And then after I'm done, I get me a shower and hit the bed. That's story of my life right now the other night i didn't even get home it was about well about 20 after 8 when i got home the other night didn't have any premiere live or nothing i come in and ate and went to bed i think i had 13 hours, 13 and a half hours in that day. Every muscle in my back was throbbing. Well, it shows 10 watching. And only five commenting, including me. Everybody needs to jump in there. Hi, James. Woke up at 4 o'clock this morning with a headache. Went back to bed. Alarm went off. Headache was still there. Eased up a little bit during the day, but it's back. Took me an Advil with my coffee here about a half hour ago. Hoping it'll ease it up a little bit. Well, you went out now. Yeah, that'll be nice. What are you doing, Bill? I know you smell the eggs. What? Okay. Maybe I'll take you to the shop tomorrow. All right, hop down. Hop down. Uh, I ought to do a live for the members from the new shop that you guys watch me struggle hanging sheet metal up. I'm going to run her over there. To Taco Yuck? Yeah. Or a Culver's. Did you want anything? No. Okay, then that was I, I ended up having six pieces of pizza. <laughs> I know. I know. 
All right, I'll be right back. All right, be careful running. I will. I got my phone if you need me. Okay. Yeah, she's a good dog. She's ornery. <laughs> no, no sweets tonight. Did you want me to pick you up? A sure. Shake? A shake? Yeah, where are you going? I'll pick you up. A chocolate shake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Might as well. Yep. Okay, All right. Okay, so I get a chocolate shake. Thanks, David. I haven't had many sweets this week, and I think I can, I think I feel it. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know what that heat's on in here, but it's kicking. Yeah, it's a kicking. Black truck, you parked behind me. My keys are. Okay, you want me to move it? You can take. Well, she can't ride with you if you take it because I got tools in there. Okay, I'll just. <laughs> I'll just back it up and pull it over there. Okay. Beside okay. yours? Yeah. That'll work. All right. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, those tables are nice. Dad's got that CNC plasma set up. Got the little, uh, what is it, Packmaster? Plasma set up on it. Make sure you run an exhaust with it. Gotta have an exhaust fan with it. Make sure that table's full of water too. It will smoke the shop up real quick. I've got the tracer torch. Yeah, you still need an exhaust fan, something to keep the uh, particles out of the air because when that plasma cuts, it, it'll leave a little fine dust of metallic fibers in the air. I got the uh, tracer torch. I haven't never set it up because I haven't had the room. Now that I'm moving into here, I'll be able to set it up. I want to set it up with the torch and the plasma. I want to build me a, a bead roller too. From the center of the wheel back to the guide bar, I want to have at least 26 inches. That way I can do a full four foot sheet right in the middle with a little bit of play. Give me a little room. Having a permanent location is gonna be a blessing because now I can make the tooling that I need. Like I said, guys, one of these days I'm gonna build a car from scratch. I mean, everything, the frame, body. Start with a drivetrain, 
probably buy aftermarket suspension and all that, but I want to build the whole car. Nope. Uh, just in the fenced area out there, which it needs redone. That fence is pretty, pretty rough. Behind the building, I have a parking lot. Yeah, I have a, a 60 ton brake. Yeah, I was watching uh, Half Ass Customs and I liked his. I have to go check Fitzy's out. I had a shear, but uh, it wasn't all that great. It was. It was probably a 1940s model. I ended up selling it. I plan on getting another shear, though. I'd also like to get an OBI punch. Make a few of the jobs a little easier. I've got a small lathe. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, actually, it's a small one. I think Dad's got a 40-ton, 60-ton. I can't remember what his big one is. Yeah, he is. He's he's really cool dude. I've seen his videos a few times. And then uh, when I found out his shop burnt, uh, I looked him up again, and I've been subscribed ever since. Yeah, I'll probably still paint some. I don't want to give it up altogether. Oh, and hi, Ed. <laughs> yeah, he lost a lot, but he gained a lot, too. His new shop is, it's set up. Did you see his uh, game room upstairs? That's pretty sweet. A pool table. Doubles as a drafting table. <laughs> yeah, the, the biggest thing with Brent up there is he lost a lot of one-off tools that he custom built. Yeah, just like Rob, when their shop burnt, here, I guess three years, well, almost four years ago now, he had a lot of tools that he built for the semis. You know, they don't make a lot of tools that uh, he has purchased over the years that are obsolete now. You can't get them no more because it's for older trucks. He lost it all. He's getting a lot of it back, though. That was a rough time for him. Insurance company screwed him. Yeah, that he had a lot of work in that car, too. And I think it was just a bit too far for him to bring back this time. I like that little truck he's building. <clears throat> little roadster truck. I haven't seen that one. Carthage Classic Cars. 
I have to look that one up. Hi, right, James. Thank you. Yeah, he started putting it together now that he's caught up. He's been pretty slammed. He's starting to put it together. Realized that he never picked the mirrors up to it. And I went to get them and they had dust and overspray and everything on them. It took me a minute to clean them up for him. But he's got them ready to go on. Yeah, that, that car, I don't know. He keeps saying he wanted to fix it. I don't know if he decided to just give up on it or what, but. Yeah, I hope he don't just leave it patinaed. That truck, it looks sharp with a nice paint job. Actually, now that you say that, I got one coming in. It's a uh, four-door, though. Let's see, I did a, what all did I do for him? I went down and taught his son how to spray. He painted a 70, 79 Z28, hot pink. And let's see, I did a 65 Malibu convertible for him. I think he's got two or three others ready to come up, too. But, yeah, his boy's got a four-door Chevy, too, that he wants done. Crazy. Back in the day, everybody wanted to... Uh, Two door. Now everybody's going for four doors. I've been seeing a lot of four doors done up. They look sharp. That would be a fun ride. What year a Corolla? Is it one of the first ones or later later model? <clears throat> a 74 yeah that's that'd be a better looking one I think I seen that in the background on one of the pictures you sent me David Yep, crew cabs. Everybody wants crew cabs now. I'm gonna rip your ear off, buddy. Yeah, I need to get back on my crew cab. I'm honestly thinking about throwing a battery in it, and load it in there up on the trailer and getting it to the new shop. Give me a little more room in that area for staging the move. That's the only vehicle in that room now, so I should be able to start packing everything up and stack it in there until they give the approval. I need to go pick my Cadillac up too. It's setting outside. I've got two regular cab 60s models. Chevys, and then I turned that 66 into the crew cab. Actually, when I started that, it was uh, 
so I could take my grandkids to the car shows with me, but I waited too long to get back on it. They're all grown now. Well, the ones that come around are grown. Uh, it'll be after. I'm not doing any more work in that building. I went in there today to load up scrap and stuff. Man, it just, yeah, I'm done with that shop. I'm hoping within the next two weeks, I'll start moving everything in and be done. I have the airlines ran to the rear bags. Uh, it's just not an air fitting, though. It's sat there so long, the back, the bags have settled down. There's no leaks. It just, that's normal in them. Yeah, uh, full custom doors. The All four doors are fully custom, one-off doors. You open the front doors, reach in, and open the back doors, and it's all open front to back. <laughs> I doubt that. Uh, yeah, I seriously doubt that. <clears throat> I got rid of that nasty plastic and wood they had over the showroom doors today. That made a big difference. That made a huge difference. Ugh. Cleaned the debris up from doing that ceiling and swept the floors. Showrooms, eh, somewhat clean now. I got a buddy gonna bring his floor scrubber in. He's gonna do the whole shop for me. Once I get it that far. No, nope, no showers. I have uh, a nice big wash basin in the shop bathroom and uh, a toilet and a sink in the other one. Who showers? <laughs> uh, ain't got time for that. Come on now. <laughs> uh I got a pressure washer, does that count? I should have grabbed that today while I was out there. I didn't want to lift it up in the back of the truck. Yep, uh, I told Tanya I'm gonna put her up on the uh, JLG lift and let her clean all the windows. That'll take her a month. The whole front of the building is windows. Pretty much floor to ceiling. When that sun comes in in the morning, oh yeah, it brightens the whole shop up. But when it's cloudy, it's dark in there. I need to get the rest of my lights put up. I hung two today. Just because it was so cloudy and storming, I had... I. Couldn't see nothing. Yep, that's right. Just throw another layer of deodorant on. Keep on going. I was kind of hoping spring was was actually here. I'm ready to get rid of all this. Starting to get annoying.
<laughs> well, if she does that, it'll be in the backyard while we're working on the pond and she's doing landscaping. <clears throat> Yeah, that don't work all that great. I remember back in the 80s, I was working at a fab shop, and they had me painting all their uh, Honda and KTH parts. Ugliest green you ever seen. Man, I'd go home, and I was head to toe. Looked like a giant booger. Take my clothes off and hang them over the banister outside, get up next day, and they're stiff as a brick from where they hardened. Sherwin Williams garbage. Worst paint I've ever sprayed. Companies don't want to spend good money on paint, so they went with the cheapest stuff they could get. Well, she ran across town to get Tylee some food and me a chocolate shake. I already told her I'm not setting an alarm for tomorrow. Yeah. That's, we had a, what was it? It was a paint pot gun. The top of the pot was the same size as a 55-gallon drum. You pop the lid off the drum, you snap this down on there in 55 gallons before you ran out of paint. And uh, I'd go through two of them a day, one before lunch and one after lunch. All day long, nothing but spraying. And that was back before anybody really cared, you know. No exhaust fan. We had a truck dock that was sunk down in the floor, come from outside. That's where we did all the painting. Crack the door open and go to town. 110 gallons a day. <clears throat> now back in the day we could do the by a gallon of chassis black, which they won't sell it now. It's hazardous to your health. But that chassis black, you could spray it on. Don't even wipe the part. We'd, we'd lift the car up, and I'd spray everything underneath of it. It'd never rust. An airless sprayer, uh, I use a, uh, oh, what is it, a Wagner sprayer for house paints and stuff.
I bought 20 high bay lights, LLED 110. I put them underneath my uh, loft, and it's a little too close to the floor, but I haven't had a chance to bring them up to the ceiling yet. I think they'll do a lot better once they're higher. Right now, they shine right down in here. That airless sprayer, is it electric? Yeah, back when we was, I don't know, 16 years old, my uncle brought his girlfriend's car in and went to Odd Lots. They was closing out. He bought every can of green bomb can that they had and we're in there bomb can in this car newspaper to windows and we're bomb can in this car dad comes home from work what are you doing he said throw that stuff away he gets a can of that chassis black out said here spray it with this we sprayed that car with chassis black she drove that car for several years and it never changed. I can't remember what these are. I think they're 20,000 lumen, lumens. What year dash? Uh, the satin black dashes you can get on, uh, I'm trying to think, Summit and get their satin hot rod black. And it's real close to the ones that were satin black. Generally, I'll, I'll spray regular base coat and then I'll add flattener to a clear. Okay. 70 Nova. Yeah, it should be like a 60-40 mix. Just enough for UV protection, but not enough to glare. <laughs> Did you get them on Amazon? Because that's where I got these lights. I'll have to look at the label tomorrow. I can't remember exactly what I bought. It was a good price, so I bought them. A lot cheaper than them LED strip lights, that's for sure. Okay, at a co-op. Yeah, these are LED too. Well, if you bought them at a co-op, yeah. Does it have a uh, a distance from the ground? Because I think these are, was it 14 to 18 foot? If I remember right, and the top of my building is 18 foot. No, it's higher than that. It's like 22 foot to the center. 
at the top of my stairs going to the loft, that wall is 18 foot. Awesome. I'm hoping once I get all the lights up, I'll like them better. But just having one or two lights in there, it, I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, these just plug in. I have outlets in the ceiling with uh, that are hooked to the light switch. I plan on getting a couple ceiling fans for up there too. Really nice little lights. They're only that thick, about that big around. And they got a little eyelet threads in the top and you just hang them up. Yeah, especially in the wintertime when you can blow that heat back down. And thank God I ain't going to have to use that bullet heater this year. I'm going to use it for backup and that's it. Use it outside when I'm working on a skid loader in the snow, broke down, trying to plow snow or something like that, you know. I think that was part of why I wasn't feeling all that great here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> uh, well, have a good evening. Hope you get enough work done to make it look like you worked all night. <coughs> I'm going to have to jump off here too. I'd like to get a shower before she gets back, but I'll bet she'll be back any minute. Yeah. I might go live at some point tomorrow. I don't know how well it'll show up, but I, I might try. Yeah, definitely. I have, I think, five hanging uh, gas heaters. That's going to be a plus. And then the paint booth, it's got that tube heater. No open flame, no nothing like that. Not blowing around. That'll be perfect for the paint booth. Yeah, get that back feeling better. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to jump off here, guys. Uh, members video is now live, so anybody that's a member can jump over there and watch that if you want. Yep, it's a radiant tube heater. I'd love to have that throughout my whole shop and forget the, the air blowing. But this is perfect just the way it is. I wouldn't mind trying to find a few more or at least two more of those heaters, run them full length of the building, and I would never have to worry about it blowing dirt around or sucking dirt into a filter or anything like that. But yeah, if you guys haven't yet, hit membership and you can go watch what I did today. All right, guys, until the next one, have a blessed evening.
58,000 lumens. I'm going to have to look, see what mine are. 1,500 watt, yeah. I bet that's the same lights that I bought. Night, brother. Have a good evening, everybody.